everyone, Daisy here with another layout for Shimmer's Paints Design Team. Today I'm going to be creating my own um, background paper. And I am just starting out with a piece of white cardstock. This is Sweet Tooth cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. And I am going to be creating my own kind of plaid checkered pattern here. So I did not prep my paper with gesso at all. I actually want the paint to kind of soak into the paper so that it doesn't um, spread or smear too terribly much. It does a little bit and it's totally okay. Um, but I'm starting out with this black color and this is a colorings in night moves and it is a very um, pigmented black color um, mist. It does not have any shimmer in it at all. It's just kind of a flat black there. And unfortunately, I made a little boo-boo there and I can't fix it because there is no gesso on it. So it soaks into the paper right away. So you gotta be a little careful with this or a little let your perfectionism go a little bit, um, which I did do because you can see that um, my lines aren't perfectly straight and they are bleeding a little bit, but I am totally okay with it. I am in love with the, how this layout turns out. So I am going to be using, um, let's see, what color did I use next? Not that one. I used the gray flannel and this is a Vibes and it is, um, you can see it's a little bit lighter. It's a gray color. Um, it's a little bit darker in real life. Uh, the, I feel like the lights are maybe blowing it out a little bit there, but it is very sparkly. Um, it's a vibes, so it does have the like shimmer in it. Um, and it is a very beautiful color gray. It's not super dark, like don't get me wrong. It's not like a really dark gray, but it is darker than it's showing up on here. And somewhere along the way, I screwed up my measurements, but it's fine. I'm using my T-square ruler to try to make sure that my lines are straight or straight-ish. Um, so yeah. The next color I'm using is a spritz called Granny Gray. And this is another very, um, it's a gray color. It has a lot of shimmer in it. And it is lighter than the gray flannel. They are similar in color, but I feel like the granny gray is more silvery uh, than the gray flannel. I think the gray flannel is a little bit more gray toned, if that makes any sense. Could just be the amount of shimmer in it, but they are both gorgeous and I love them. So I'm just going to add more, 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 more. And then I'm going to come in um, the other way using a Shimmerings product in Concrete. So, is that the, yeah. So this one is um, a little less, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the color is a little less concentrated and it's it's a lot of um, iridescent and it has like the colored iridescence in it. Um, so it goes on lighter is basically what I'm trying to say. And I'm liking how this is turning out, but I'm thinking I still need another color. So I'm going to bring in another black color and um, the color that I'm bringing in is a vibes called Before Dawn. So it has a lot of pigment in it as well as the shimmer. So it's it reminds me of the Night Moves in color, except for it's also got the shimmer in it. So it's lovely. And yeah, this one, I don't know. I had my... I, I kept getting my brush a little too wet, so it kept leaking underneath my... Um, my ruler there but it's fine I'm gonna let as much of it soak in and then I'm gonna dab up a little bit of it and I in between each line I'm trying to wipe it with that baby wipe there to try to avoid any extra smushing of the color uh, more than it needs to be so 
I am very happy with how my plaid came out though. Um, before I added this last black color, I'm like, ooh, I don't know how this is turning out. But then I added that one and I, I'm much happier with it and I really like it. So you can see that there's some mistakes, there's some um, kind of smudging and everything, but I really like how it turned out and a lot of it you're not even going to notice in the end layout because I do cover a bunch of it up. So now I have the cut file and this is the, is it the December cut file? Probably. And it is the pine uh, branches and I cut them out probably eight times, six times, eight times, something like that. Um, I shrunk them down a little bit so that they would fit and I cut them out a whole bunch of times on some green cardstock. And then right now I'm just sorting, there's two different sizes and so I'm sorting out the sizes. And then I'm gonna use um, two green colors here. And I have, this first one I'm using is a Shimmers product. So super shimmery, lots of um, beautiful shine to it. It is called Celery and it is a lighter green color. And I'm just gonna paint over the other green um, of the cardstock. Now, it's gonna be hard to see this on camera. However, it adds a ton of shimmer and shine to these pieces and it also alters the color. Um, it's This one isn't as noticeable as when I get to the darker green color, but it does definitely change the color from the original green cut file. The reason why I chose to cut it out on green um, is because I think I used four pieces of paper and I just thought that that would be like a lot of of painting, which I know I'm painting each piece anyhow, but I thought that this would be simpler to add the shimmer and the color on top of another color. And I love the effect. Um, it gives a lot of shading and a lot of difference in um, the different colors of the green. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And so I think I end up with like 11 of these big pieces, uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, 22 of these big pieces. So I do 11 of each. And then I think I end up with eight of the small ones. And so just painting these and painting these and painting these. And I did speed this up. This is like eight times the speed. So yeah, I think, um, all in all, the painting took me like 25 minutes or something like that um, to do. And it dried really quickly. Again, I did not prep this green paper either because I wasn't planning on using a lot of water on it. And it's a really thick cardstock, so it could definitely take a little bit of um, wetness to it. So I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit here. Um, but anyhow, just taking care of that. And then I'm going to come in with the darker green, which is an Inklings. And this is um, a very pigmented color that you have to add liquid to. So I did spray it with some water. And um, it's in the color Green Goddess. So it's a highly pigmented and then highly shimmery uh, watercolor. Um, Again, that you have to activate yourself by adding the water to it. And it's hard to tell here. I think you'll be able to tell after they're dry. Um, I mean, you can kind of see it, how it's changing the color. And this color green is incredibly shimmery. So you can tell the difference between the two colors for sure. And then the um, shine on this one is just out of this world. So trying to hurry up and get these painted. I didn't realize it was taking so long. Unfortunately, like sometimes when I'm scrapbooking, I have the TV on to kind of keep me company or whatever. Um, Cause I scrapbook in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep. And uh, yeah, sometimes I don't pay attention to how long something's taking me. So, and I didn't want to cut any of this out. Although it's all just me painting, but and I just, if anybody's wondering, I'm using the like plastic cover to my silhouette mat um, to 
protect my surface because I don't really care if that gets covered in paint. Um, right now, my background or my that white that's on my desk is covered in paint, like all over the place. But uh, yeah. So I adhered down all of the big pieces of the wreath. Um, and look, I mean, just look at that background. You can't even tell, like all of the mistakes it looks great with that wreath and I have these three pictures of my kids so we tried to do that uh, Christmas light thing um, and I thought that the red lights looked really really cool at the time but then when I printed them out I'm like oh my gosh they look demonic <laughs> so I printed it out in black and white and they look amazing but I also had these colored versions so I'm like well we're just gonna go with it we're gonna lean into the <laughs> the Christmas spirit here um, and so I'm pairing that with I cut or I punched out some red circles using a one inch punch and then I'm filling in kind of the thinner parts of my wreath uh, with the extra pieces that I had left over and then um, I'm just adhering everything down using a liquid adhesive. Whenever I use mixed media, um, I like to use liquid adhesive. Usually when it's gesso, I definitely use a, a liquid adhesive. Um, but this time I just, that's what I had. My ATG was kind of acting up and I'm just like, well, we're gonna go with this because then I know it'll definitely, everything will stick down, so. I pulled out these um, gold glitter stars that are from the Crepe Paper Merry Days collection from a few years ago. Um, they've kind of been hanging out in my stash, so I thought this would be a great way to get some of them used up. I created um, kind of a little cluster underneath the photos by using two pieces of the, the pine branches, and then I'm going to add a gold star behind it as well. And yeah, just seeing where else I can kind of tuck these stars into. But you can kind of see here the difference because I layered the pine branches so that it was one of the celery, one of the green goddess, celery, green goddess, celery, green goddess. So you can see the difference in the color and um, the close-ups at the end, you'll be able to see it even better. But um, it really you can really see the color changes and the difference in the shine. Um, it's just, it's really pleasant to look at. <laughs> so I'm pulling out these acrylic pieces here and I just pulled out the Christmas one, but then I'm gonna end up pulling out one that says hello too. And those are from Felicity Jane from their Hello Col Christmas collection from a couple years ago. I got it on Black Black Friday sale or whatever. And now I'm pulling out ribbon. I mean, I don't know the last time I used ribbon, but uh, yeah, I was just really inspired to go all out on this wreath theme. So I pulled out the ribbon um, and it's like a red plaid. And then I put kind of the, you know, cheap thin red ribbon over the top of it. I don't know what, does ribbon have a special name? I don't even know. It's the satiny one that I'm sure everybody has some of. <laughs> and I just have all these pieces hanging out on my layout to hold everything down because I want to make sure that everything adheres down really well. So I put things with a little bit of weight on top of them. And so I'm going to adhere the ribbon up to the top and then kind of tuck it in on either side of the layout. And then at towards the end, I'm going to glue down the very ends of the ribbons. Um, to kind of hold them in place a little bit better. But I did want them to also pop up a bit from the page. So I don't, that's why I don't adhere the entire length. And that star just did not want to stick down. That one either. But I don't think I put enough glue behind that one anyway. Um, and then I'm going to pull out these little red pom-poms. And I think they came from like the Target dollar spot or something. And I'm just going to kind of stick them around, just filling in a few places here. I thought it added a nice little fun berry effect, I guess. 
and then I'm also going to come in with that other acrylic piece that says hello so then my title ends up being hello Christmas and that's pretty much gonna be the end of my layout so I hope you enjoyed watching this video head on over to shimmers um, they have a group on Facebook and that's where you find out about sales and everything um, there's also the Instagram that you can check out and see everybody's uh, layouts and also a place to find out about sales. I will have links down below to both things. Don't forget you can put my name in the comments of your um, next purchase and you'll get a little freebie um, as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this layout. I really love how it turned out and um, check out the close-ups at the end because you'll really see that difference in the, the shimmer and shine. But uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!